Hi, my name is Jackson. And I'm Dawson. And today we're going to be talking about all sports. What do you think about the Grizzlies season so far? Um, I don't really watch much Grizzlies basketball, but from what I've seen, they've had a lot of injuries. And um, John Morant out, you know, after the suspension. He got injured again. Um, Gigi Jackson, though. He Gigi has, Jackson, he's comp. He's done pretty good. So that's that would be my take. They've, they, they've looked all right. What do, you, what do you think about the Cavs season? You know, the Cavaliers, Max Struess, the other day. Uh, did you see the game-winning shot he had? No. Of course. Of course. Because the Cavaliers right. are irrelevant. The, okay. So he actually had a half-court shot from beyond half-court, behind half-court, that gave us the win. Nicole Jokic did that like two weeks ago. What are your opinions on the um, the Twins? How do you think the Twins are going to look this I year? I think the Twins the are – Probably top five teams odds to win the World Series. I think we have the greatest pitching rotation in baseball. Okay. I think we are hitting this year. Probably is going to be the same, just average like it's been since 2020. But we have we still have Carlos Correa. We still have my glorious King Max Kepler. Jorge Polanco is gone. Kenta Maeda is gone. Son Son Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray Sonny is gone. Gray. He's on the Cardinals. Who are also mid. Um, we're probably, I'm predicting an 85 win season. That's not a terrible and prediction. I'm doing one playoff win against the Blue Jays or oh, the right. Yankees because the Yankees are terrible. Okay. What All do you right. think? How do you think about the Braves season? Uh, you know, Braves. <coughs> it's it's World Series or nothing. You know, last year. Even after the first round exit. Well. Technically, it wouldn't have been the first round. We got actually a you buy. got a buy. We got a buy. So okay, so if the Ravens had a buy and they lost in the first round, wouldn't that be a first round exit? That's the issue. That would be their first round. That well, that would be their first round, but that wouldn't be the first round of the playoffs. Okay. So you can't consider it the first round. What are what are your opinions on the Dodgers? Uh, the dot. Well, you didn't let me finish the Braves. Okay. So the Braves, I think. I mean, we're obviously going to be the best team in baseball offensively. I mean, we're got. It's debatable. I mean, we. We have one of the best first basemen, if not the best, in the entire MLB. Uh, Matt Olson last year. I mean, so, what do you think about Freddie Freeman now? I mean, I have nothing against Freddie Freeman. I've always thought he's great. He was great in Atlanta. He's still great, but I think Matt Olson is definitely better all around. Okay. Um, I mean, Acuna. You know, you saw the power rankings. He's the best player in baseball. Wait, so 101 wins and 40 home runs, and then what happened in the playoffs? We just didn't show up, you know? What about the Twins? I mean, we won a playoff game. We won a game against the Astros, who went to the ALCS and lost to the World Series champions. So that's, I mean, that's a MacGuffin. If I've I, ever do seen have one. A, I do have a take here that if the Braves would have faced up against the Twins, it's a, it's a clean sweep for the Braves. I mean, y'all ain't, y'all ain't getting away. Yeah. Um, the way you played against the Phillies, I don't know about that. We have one of the best rotations. The Phillies had Bryce Harper. The, the Phillies had Bryce Harper. Yeah, JT Romuto. Bryce Harper and the power of friendship to win that, and okay. they and they won. Okay. What are your opinions on the uh, Preds season? Oh my God, it's been great. Um, uh, They've looked really good. What's his name? UC Soros. It's terrible. He's been average, but the backup goalie, uh, I think, is undefeated. Um, and we're on like a six-game win streak. Yeah. And we're like fourth in the Central Division so of the Metropolitan. Your, what are your opinions on uh, Connor Bedard? Um, I think he's the most overhyped. Comparing him to Wembenyama, who people compare him to Wembenyama, but he's not even a third of his skill because Wembenyama, he comes in, he's good. Bedard, I mean, he's not good. I but mean, d- okay, Bedard came in before he got injured. When he got injured, he had the most points as a rookie. He was out for like two weeks. He was out for two. No, he broke his jaw the whole time he was out, and then he came back. He still had the most points as a rookie. Every guy below him was still playing. He doesn't have the most points. He's Maybe like the anymore. second most points. Yeah. Okay, but he's third. The whole time but there's the rookie from the Maple Leafs is so much more better than him. Right. Because so. who is he learning from? The guy that boinked his mom. <laughs> okay. Uh, the rookie from the Maple Leafs is learning from Austin Matthews, and you know the Maple Leafs, who are obviously a better organization than the Blackhawks. It's agreeable. All right. Well, this has been the uh, sports podcast. I'm Jackson. I'm Dawson. And thanks for listening.